We've got uh, uh, over 100 people here from around Merseyside who are uh, currently experiencing mental ill health and we're utilising football as a form of therapy to try and, try and support people's uh, well-being, promote recovery but also social integration. Before I got involved with the programme, um, on a weekly basis I'd try and take my own life. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't think of anything but take my own life. From the programme I gradually realised that I've got help, I've got support and it's actually led for me to get a full-time job helping other people. When people see me tattooed, they're like, how can you wear, how can you have a Liverpool tattoo and wear everything? That's horrible. But it, my answer to them is, it wasn't Liverpool that saved my life, it was Everton. If it wasn't for Everton, I wouldn't be playing football. I wouldn't be able to speak to them. I was blown away by the support network that's here and that Everton do in the community. I, just only a couple of weeks ago I had a bit of a rough patch. I put a post on Imagine Your Goals Facebook page to my brothers and within minutes I had one of the lads message me and like, that's the kind of camaraderie you get out of everyone here. If everyone is there for each other, no matter what the circumstances, someone, if you need it, they're there for you. I was in a dark place when I initially came onto the programme and now it's just standing here talking to you. Is like, I could have never done this at the beginning. I wouldn't have had the confidence. And uh, the football has gave me the confidence to come out of my shell and be the person that I am today. There's days, you know, I didn't want to go out the house. There's days where I could have stayed in bed all day. I could have isolated myself in the outside world. But I came here, I got to know people. And if I went for this programme, I think I'd be lost and stuck. Football is medicine for me, to the point where I've also made my own team with people from the programme. It's because we're that good friends, you know what I mean? And you know, on the outside world, away from the programme, you're never alone. You've always got the brothers behind you. this program and this organisation my life really it's kept me away from crime it's it it give me a family another family that's how I see it that's how that's how big it is and without this I'd, I don't think I'd be here today when you're on the pitch and we're together it we're more open to talk so we're going to be more honest with each other about our real feelings and how we're seeing things and it showed me humanity again. The opportunities that have arisen since joining the programme is immense. Middle of November I'll be going to Mexico for 10 days to play in the Homeless World Cup which is a huge honour representing my country. Um, I, this is all possible through everything in the community. The work that they do and the transformation that they go on, it is 99% of their work and we're just there as a, as a shoulder or as a near or, or as a motivational uh, team talk, whatever it may be, but just knowing that there's that support network in place for people, uh, it can be all the difference. I thank everyone in the community every day for what they've done. The change in my personality and my persona has been massive and I really could not have done it without Imagine Your Goals. If you get the opportunity to join this programme and other football programmes for therapy, I'd jump on it because your mental health will come leaps and bounds. Go and speak to a doctor or what have you and tell them what's going on and they refer to programmes like this. And for me, it's one of the best things that's ever happened in my life. You know, if ever there was a, an adage that you know you can do a lot with a little, it's this programme. You know, we've seen that and we've had testimonies and people speaking with such honesty to say if it weren't for this programme, they wouldn't be alive. You know, that's the real importance of a project like this, that if it isn't here, then, you know, people come at risk. So that's why we're so invested in providing opportunities for this uh, project to grow and blossom into the future.